वेलकम टू यूट्यूब चैनल साइंटिफिक अंडर स्कोर मैथ आवर टॉपिक इज सॉल्विंग अ सिस्टम ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन बाय यूजिंग द गोज एलिमिनेशन मेथड इन इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस द गोज एलिमिनेशन मेथड विद एग्जांपल एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न हाउ टू राइट अ मैट लैब कोड फॉर गाज एलिमिनेशन मैथड ओके सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव अ फोर सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन एंड वी वॉन्ट टू सॉल्व दीज सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन बाई यूजिंग द गाज एलिमिनेशन मैथड एंड वेन वी अप्लाई द गाज एलिमिनेशन मैथड द इक्वलेंट फॉर्म ऑफ द सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन वी हैव लाइक एंड दैट ओके एंड वी कैन ऑल्सो राइट द सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन इन मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म लाइक दैट and ax is ax is equal to b form okay and when we apply the ingaz elimination method on this uh, matrix is uh, matrix and we will get the equivalent form this one and all the elements below the diagonal uh, elements are zero here will be uh, a 4 4 okay and after this one we apply the back substitution to find the values of the all unknown okay so back substitution first we uh, find the uh, last uh, uh, unknown okay and then similarly we solve the other equation to find the a uh, second last unknown x x3 uh, x2 and uh, then x1 similarly okay so uh, this is the uh, gauss elimination method now we write a matlab code on the is on same steps and then we will run this matlab code on matlab to verify whether it is working or not okay so let's start here we have a matlab script uh, for gauss elimination method and uh, first we know that uh, first we write a augmented matrix okay and uh, to apply the in uh, gauss elimination method okay so next we find in the number of rows and number of column by applying the uh, size command on the augmented matrix and then we use uh, two for loops for for column and for row okay then we use a fprint f command uh, to know uh, which number uh, by which number we are multiplying the a row uh, okay uh, and then we subtract uh, from the other equa other equation okay uh, from other row or other equation so this is the fprint f command will show uh, by which number we are multiplying the uh, our uh, pivot row okay so next here we have a uh, gauss elimination uh, procedure forward elimination and uh, okay then we uh, end both for loops this one and next we apply the uh, uh, we you apply the back substitution to find the values of the unknown okay so first we use in this in display command to display the backward substitution yes okay so uh, we uh, uh, we uh, generate a, a vector column uh, of of size r rows and one column and then we know that we have the value of the uh, last one and last uh, unknown last unknown for example x4 in this Uh, example okay so we use this uh, x4 uh, uh, last uh, unknown to find the values of the other unknowns okay and so then we use the uh, for loop and this is the backward substitution and then we end this one uh, for loop okay so this is the uh, when we apply the uh, gauss elimination method we get this one and after uh, we uh, then we again write ax is equal to b form and then we apply the back substitution to find the values of the unknown and this is the back substitution okay so let's run this code on matlab and we will check the result so this is the matlab code and we have a example this one and uh, uh, okay so uh here this is the metal and this is the gauss elimination procedure okay and uh, and this is the 
pivot element and uh, this one is the pivot equation okay and uh, this one from here to here this is the multiplier we are multiplying the uh, pivot equation with this element and subtracting the uh, subtracting from this equation okay so uh, again uh, uh, i will use here a pause command uh, to uh, stop after one step and we will uh, for next step we will press uh, uh, space uh, key button to see the next step okay so let's uh, run this code and uh, we will see the result after uh, step by step okay so we can see here multiplying row 1 with this element and subtracting from the uh, uh, from row 2 okay i will here show you again the matrix Augmented matrix uh, over here. This is matrix, matrix and run this again. Okay, so this is the uh, augmented matrix, and uh, uh, we want to uh, we want to uh, zero uh, this element. And what we will do? Uh, we uh, divide the minus six by four and, uh, and subtract uh, subtract from and uh, this one uh, from this row. Okay, so here we can see that multiplying the row. Uh, one with this element when we divide minus 6 by 4 we get this one and it then subtract from row 2 okay so we multiply in this row that is pivot row with uh, minus 1.5 and subtract from row 2 then this will become 0 okay next we press the uh, key sp uh, space button uh, we will see the next step okay then again we can see that multiplying row 1 with this element when we divide minus 1 divided by 4 okay we get 0 0.250 and subtracting from the row 3 we will uh, subtract from this row okay so then this element will become 0 and uh, next uh, we will divide minus 12 by 4 okay and multiply uh, with uh, row 1 okay and multiplying row 1 with uh, here multiplying row 1 with minus 3 okay and subtract from the row 4 then this will become 0 okay in next step uh, what we will do uh, we will uh, divide minus 8 with 4 and multiply with the second row okay we here we, uh, we will see yes multiplying row 2 with 2 and subtract from the third row okay then we can see that here and this is a 0 so on the similar on the same step uh, we will do for other and uh, after this one we get the uh, hn form uh, matrix or the upper triangular matrix okay so now we apply the back substitution to find the values of the unknown x1 x2 x3 and x4 in this case okay so uh, uh, first we have the value with because we know that uh, we get uh, we get the values of the unknown uh, x4 from this equation okay so this one is uh, 0.5 and uh, for x3 is 3 minus 3.0 and for x2 is uh, 4.0 and for x1 is so these are the values of the unknown uh, we get by applying the back substitution okay so in next video lecture uh, we will discuss the gauss elimination method with uh, pivoting and uh, thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe my channel scientific underscore math for more videos